Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm gonna introduce how you can link a survey to a website. Uh, the idea is of course to get a qualitative data analysis. Uh, for this I really would like to thank uh, my friend uh, Lucas Winkler who helped me in uh, designing the code around it and, and make it uh, make it work. So let's imagine that you are using a survey solution such as a Lime survey on which you have a different question that you want to ask to your, to your user. In my case just added one a simple question which is about how great uh, was your visit on our website today and um, it's just a five uh, a five point um, answer question that I added to my to my survey of course I could add really multiple questions here but I just make it as simple as possible okay so just imagine that this is the equivalent of any form that uh, any form system that, that you want that you have uh, here I get the link once my survey is activated and the idea is now how can I add this given link on my website in order to fire it when the visitor is, is ready to do the action and for this uh, this is why it comes handy when you play with a uh, uh, tag manager such as a uh, Matomo tag manager because most of the time when you have a website as an analyst uh, you don't have an access to the website in itself right you just have an access uh, to the tag manager and you don't have an access to the website so you cannot enter any content over here um, so what you need to, to know is in fact uh, when you would like this given survey to appear or at least where you would like to have the button or the CTA to be included and, and when should it be fired so um, thanks to Lucas uh, Lucas um, just gave me the code uh, that we can use so that's uh, for example in my case a custom HTML script what this script is doing is like it's creating uh, an element uh, here it's a constant name a and on this given uh, a uh, element is going to be added some uh, anchor uh, link text so if you have some time to answer this quick survey um, um, href element which is the link to which I'm going to drive the user to and then I added an attribute in order for this survey to not uh, kill let's say the visit and open it in another tab and then uh, you have the query selector which is selecting the element on which you would like to play with so in my case uh, that's going to be an id uh, so the hash is for the id uh, which equals service so here what I just did in the website and as I just added um, on the page on the element that I want to play with um, do, 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 that's going to be maybe over here I, I added an ID which is named survey and the idea is of course to um, uh, search for this element and to be able to add at the end of this element the uh, CTA that we want so if I do like uh, search they okay you can you can see it over here i did it to, to, to a paragraph which is which is this one okay so i guess you understood the big picture here um so the tag manager is is on the page uh and if i go on the on the page that i want to test so let's let's uh, well i don't mind in fact i can now publish it because i know it's going to work so i just um i just publish it so I just go over here and publish my code and just say okay survey live survey live okay and uh, let's uh, let's publish it so uh, now we have someone someone who is uh, coming on the website oops it's gonna be this someone uh, this someone do, 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 edit the page view page where is it the view page over here uh, I'm just gonna remove these parts out and I guess I will be on the page okay uh so now let's remove this part so uh here in my tag manager i considered that the code over here will be triggered when the page will be viewed but in fact i could definitely decide when the user is far more qualified than just a page view and then decide to fire this at the moment that i want which is of course far more valuable for example someone who is scrolling down someone who is passing some time on the website or that kind of thing. so just to let you know that this trigger that i've seen that i put here is really the more uh, let's say the the most flexible i mean not the, the more direct but i could definitely uh, do something which is far better than this okay so here normally if the things have been done properly you see i got this sentence which is appearing over here and this sentence have been inserted thanks to the javascript code that i had on the tag manager and if i click on it it's opening up 
uh, another tab uh, like this and I get my survey on. So the user is redirected here um, saying, okay, how much did you enjoy your visit on the website today? And then the person can in fact answer over here, submit, and then uh, thank you so much. And then they just need to, to close this down. Um, I guess on Lime survey, you can probably redirect the people once uh, they finish to answer, but now, I got in fact uh, the answer stored within my uh, my Lime survey, so I can look at the at the responses and know what people think about it. And that's everything that I wanted to show you for today. Thanks for watching.